Hey guys, Lucky Spring 696 here tonight. As some of you might remember, I had a video a few, maybe a week ago, two weeks ago, I can't even remember when I put it up, but I had a, something under this black velvet cloth here. And I figured I'd show it to you now. I finally got around to it and everything, so. Alright, there you guys go. See, it's a Sig Sauer handgun case. It's brand new. Before I open it up, let me explain. It is not mine. It's my wife's. I'm a little jealous of it. The only thing is, it makes me feel a little bit girly because, well, you'll see. So, this is the Sig Sauer P239. As you can see, it's got what is called a rainbow titanium finish to it, which doesn't really look like my type of gun, personally. So, but I do have to say I'm jealous because it is a night, as um, Blue Thunder would say, sweet shooter. We did take it out to the range. I actually was surprised how accurate I was with it. Let me get into a few specs. The frame, hard anodized steel. Well, I think it's considered hard anodized finish and it's a steel frame. Slide is actually stainless steel with the rainbow titanium finish. Trigger pull with the hammer down would be 10 pounds. I think with the hammer cocked back it's only 4. If I'm mistaken on that I'll leave a little note saying I'm, a, I'm not that bright, and I messed it up. The accents on it are also in rainbow titanium. The trigger, the field strip, the decocker, and the slide lock. The hammer, the mag release, and the screw is also all rainbow titanium. It's calibered, and I don't remember if I told you, 40 caliber. Barrels 3.6 inches. Magazine holds seven rounds. So, like I said, shoots really nice. Anyone going out to get a smaller, like size, handgun from Sig Sauer would recommend the P239. Wouldn't really recommend the Rainbow Titanium finish for guys, because, like, holding it right here, I just don't really feel right, but. It, it's a nice gun, guys. I do have... Oh, wait. Forgot to mention. Came with night sights, which I'm very happy with. I like them. They glow great. They're almost the color of my wall at night in the pitch black bedroom. One thing I am not happy with is where they've placed the slide lock. It's all the way back here. Me, personally, I think they should have switched the decocker and the slide lock and put it more in, as I would say, a traditional place because when you're trying to manipulate the slide, it's, oh, hold on, I'm going to have to stand up for this. It's awkward to cock your thumb back there and lock it. So I would have preferred it where the decocker was. See, decocker works rather nicely. So, for all in all, it's a very nice pistol. Wife's happy with it, which is all that matters. I'm not going to mention that it cost twice as much as mine did, but women, what you going to do? So, that's about it, guys. I'm very happy with it. Came with two magazines. This one's loaded with the home defense, Hornady critical defense rounds. And for you guys, that did watch my gun haul, gun show haul video, her knife matches her handgun. And that's why I bought her this knife. So, that's it guys. Thanks for tuning in to watch the gun review or gun unboxing, whatever you want to call it. I am going to do a range report in a couple of days and show you the target I shot and let you know how many rounds went through it and all that stuff. So, Stay tuned, thanks for watching, and see you guys around, and be safe out there.